But our Newsmax correspondent and Army veteran Chuck Holton has a special message for service members currently away from their families serving overseas. Chuck? Did you know that today more than 150,000 active duty U.S. military personnel are serving overseas, often in hostile environments? And they're not just in obvious places like the Middle East. In fact, many are stationed far from home in regions you might not even realize need an American presence. For example, we've got more than 40,000 troops in Japan and another 30,000 in Germany and almost that many in South Korea, each serving as a pillar of peace and stability. Now, they're not in the news, but they're out there doing their job day in and day out across more than 150 countries, from the deserts of Somalia to the mountains of Kosovo. Our troops face daily risks to hold back the forces of chaos, sacrificing to keep the world's barbarians hiding in their holes. Consider this. Less than 1% of Americans today choose to serve in the military. Only a fraction of our population shoulders the responsibility of defending the freedoms and security we often take for granted. And they don't get the attention or appreciation they deserve. They endure long days and nights, separated from loved ones, facing isolation, danger, and sacrifice. Yet they volunteer for it. They step up knowing the cost because they believe in protecting something greater than themselves. In ancient Sparta, the cities didn't need walls, they said, because their warriors were their walls. Well, today, America's men and women in uniform are our walls, shielding us from an increasingly chaotic world. So this Veterans Day, let's recognize that debt. These warriors are doing what so few are willing to do, standing in harm's way to keep us safe. They've given us all something to honor, to respect, and to be deeply grateful for. So if you are or ever were one of those who stood as part of that wall, from all of us here at Newsmax, thank you.